Our sister in law has the coronavirus. Sooner or later, we may all know someone has the coronavirus. Maybe it'll even be you or me. Never before in the history of our world have we seen an entire planet on lockdown because of a virus. All over the world there is much anxiety and uncertainty and panic. And sure, we're all taking measures to try and protect ourselves from the effects of this virus. But if things continue the way they are, more people will die. You know, the ancients tell us that God uses these times to get our attention. God whispers to us in our comforts, but shouts at us in our fears. And he is getting our attention. And he is bringing to our attention the fact that there is a greater virus at work in this world. And that virus is called sin. And the reason why our world is in such a state and why these kind of things are happening is because of sin. Because of our rebellion against God and his rule in our lives. And as the scriptures say, your sin has separated you from God. As much as we are separated from each other in this time, even worse is our separation from God because of our sin. But here are three things for you to note at this time. Even with the separation, God has still spoken to us. Separation does not mean silence. God has spoken to us by his word. And secondly, God has acted. God has acted in this world by sending his son Jesus to deal with our sin by taking it upon himself at the cross in his death. And thirdly, God has promised to take those who are trusting in Jesus home to be with him for all eternity. I don't know what's going to happen with this coronavirus. I don't know what the outcome is going to be for our world. But I do know the God who holds the future in his hands. And it is a good future for those who are trusting in Jesus. And that is my comfort today. And I hope that it is yours too. If you are trusting in Jesus, that hope is yours. Are you trusting in him?